Welcome back. Now the ASG has launched multiple identical instances to handle the load. Do you think there is something still missing in the architecture? Let's have a look back at the slides. Let's see if you can spot the problem in the next slide. You got here, in this scenario, two identical servers that have been created with the concept of horizontal scaling as we have explained in the previous video. You can see also some clients are being served by the first server, while the other clients are served by the second one. Have you spotted what is the issue here? If you have thought of the unbalanced distribution of clients across your resources, then you were right. Auto-scaling groups or having multiple resources in parallel has provisioned the needed resources to handle the current load, but but one more component is still needed to improve that design. What's missing is an extra component that would serve as a token machine in front of your resources. Your clients do not communicate directly with the back-end resources, but rather with this new token machine. That new component would be responsible for fairly distributing the incoming requests from the clients across the resources. Your solution needs a load balancer as a frontier in front of your back-end resources. ELB, or Elastic Load Balancer, is another compute service from AWS. It will help you to automatically distribute the incoming requests across the back-end resources, whether they were individual independent servers, servers in an ASG, or even on-premises servers. The ELB serves as a single point of contact for all of the backend servers. Similarly, like ASG, ELB will also periodically run health checks on the backend targets in order to identify the healthy and the unhealthy nodes to properly redirect the clients to the healthy nodes only. If, through health checks, the ELB discovered that an EC2 instance became unhealthy, the ELB will decide to take action it will start redirecting the clients that were connected to that node to the remaining healthy targets and redistributing the load. The ELB cannot replace the faulty instance on its own, but an ASG can, so usually they are both cascaded together, back-to-back -back and resilient architectures. Pay attention! There are different types of ELB, and you should have a general idea about them in case they show up on your exam. ALB or Application Load Balancer is a Layer 7 load balancer that operates at the web layer and can distribute HTTP traffic as it is capable of redirecting you based on the requested URL. The NLB or Network Load Balancer is not application aware, it operates on Layer 3 and Layer 4, distributing network traffic based on port numbers with very low latency. GWLB or Gateway Load Balancer is the newest member of the family, used to load balance across multiple virtual appliances. The last one is the CLB or the Classic Load Balancer. This is a legacy load balancer that has been replaced with the ALB. As previously mentioned, as a common practice in the cloud, we complement the functionality of the ELB with a backend of a group of servers that form together an ASG that would scale dynamically with the change in the demand. This would represent an elastic architecture that will ensure that the traffic will be properly distributed across all of the available resources, regardless of how many they are. 